No, no, pointer! Oh, okay. Punch trees, punch this. Shoot the cannon. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking at here, but it looks like I've got some kind of block. Can't move. Ah! Press space, and now I can... Oh, wait, what? Am I like R2-D2? Drag blocks to the cockpit to attach. <laughs> have you seen this thing? Hang on, I'm just going to have a little drive around. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> look, I look like a little R2-D2. Screw attaching things to my thing. This is really fun. Hang on. So wait, can I attach the tree? Attach the tree to... No. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll put some stuff on it. This is really weird, mate. I look... Oh, wow, it gets gravity. When I was going downhill, it sped up. That was quite cool. Okay, right, so... Drag blocks to the cockpit to attach them. Ah, oh, it's a bit... It's got a Kate Kerbal-style interface, you know? Whee! Yep. <laughs> it's got snap and connect. Yeah, snap and connect, yeah. Right, let's put one on the back. Get some wheels on it. Okay, well, it couldn't be easier. In fairness, I've now got a little car with four wheels. Woohoo! Attach all the bleak blocks. Right, what's this? What is that? A gun? Yeah, something like that. Use WSAD to drive around. But yeah, like I say, I've got it on uh, the stream right now if you want to see this. It looks, looks pretty. Uh... Oh! An enemy is near! Defend yourself! Quick! Pew pew pew! Pew pew! Pew pew! Oh no! <laughs> pew pew! Oh no! Oh no! He's got a laser gun! <laughs> He's got a laser! Run! All I've got is a little cannon! I can't even see him, I'm just reversing and aiming off the bottom of the screen. Wheelie! <laughs> Let's go! Where is my opponent? He's over there. Right. Ah, oh, my range is too low. Get out of the way. Oh, I just found another block of something. Oh, no. Yes, I have your cockpit. Yeah, I've destroyed him. Now I can take his blocks. That means I get lasers. Oh, wait, what's this? What even is that? Uh, I'm going to put it on the back. Get some more wheels. Put that up there. Is that a drill? Right, I put the drill on the front. More wheels. So yeah, it's like a scavenger game. Kerbal style, land based. Oh, what's this? What is that? A coil laser. I should probably... Will the will laser destroy my own gun? That's the question. Oh no! There's another enemy! I think I'm going to have to go and scalvage him. Scalvage? <laughs> Scavenge. I like scalvage better. Scalvaging, guys! Let's go. Get back here! Oh no, I've become big and heavy. And unmaneuverable, uh -oh. yeah. Why can't I change to my laser? Oh, he destroyed my laser. Now I get, now I've got No, he destroyed my gun. Now I have a laser. Uh wait, what? Somehow I've managed to pick up a block and it's like hovering above my thing. But I'm not sure it might be a feature. <laughs> At this point I just don't know. Um I've got an idea. At this point, I'm going to drag that off, drag off the whole back section, and then pick up the laser, stick it on there. Right. Okay, it's combat time. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, I'm like wheeling around on all my uh, all my stuff. <laughs> Do you know what this reminds me of? Uh, remote control cars. That's what it reminds me of right now. Oh, get back here. <laughs> Derp. Wow, so much talk. Seriously, so much talk. Do you know what? I don't think that that actually is going to work. We can't shoot each other. No, I can't shoot him. <laughs> okay, right. So, how am I going to do this then? It's funny because the enemy stood there and I'm just like... No, you can't... You can't actually... Huh. That particular weapon... More games. If you want to put them on your little list of things to try. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Murder Miner? Oh, never heard of it. Uh, no, I've shown it to you. It's that, uh, that first person shooter in the voxel. Hang on, if I. It's, it's, it's kind of it's kind of like Doom in a voxel world. Oh, yeah! I do want to check that out, actually. I forgot all about it. Look, I can't kill him. Uh, We've uh, got a bit of a problem. Okay, so if I take that off, take this off. Ram him. New plan. He he's not moving though. The AI isn't trying to kill me at the moment, which is interesting. Like that and like that. Oh wow! I can't. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> okay, right. So. Put that on the front. It's going to be a little bit forward heavy. But if I whack that on the back, and then I can put two lasers up front. Laser there. Ah, that's why he's not shooting me anymore. He's got no weapons. And he doesn't know what to do when he has yeah. no weapons. And now I'm dual wielding. Yes! More blocks for me. Uh-oh. I don't really know where to put them. <laughs> so you got a little rover and it's two wielding weapons on it. You know, the, I, I am oh, so nostalgically reminded of Outpost 2. Yeah, I know. that It does feel a bit like that, actually. I'm just building I, myself a sick rover and then I'm going to go and explore. I loved getting the... Uh, well, what, what were the big ones called again? Pans Panthers? No, that was the medium-sized ones. The the double... I don't remember what they were called. Hmm. I don't know. But you could get the, the, the double barrel tanks. They were the really expensive ones, though. It seems if you fit a drill and you just drive into things. Uh oh. Oh wow, this guy's got a tongue. Oh god, he's got a he's got a cannon. I need to get out of here. Run! I keep crashing into things because the steering mechanics are stupid. Oh no, he's fallen over. Okay. Wait, I can pick myself up. I didn't know I could do that. Okay. So I'm driving. One of my favorite. One of my favorite ways to win in that game, when you played uh, with Plymouth, you'd uh, hit their base with an EMP missile, then you'd send in a swarm of spiders and yeah. uh, <laughs> as decoys. And right behind the spiders, you'd send in a uh, one of those um, double barrel versions, and you send one in with the, uh, the, the supernova bomb, right? One of the Plymouth... Plymouth, one of their main weapons is like a double-powered bomb, and you put that on the double tank, so you get like four bombs. Go right up to their, uh, right up to their main command center, and just blow it away. Like, oh, so much for you guys. <laughs> I played that game so much, I literally blew up my CD. Oh, I'm gonna do a bit of exploring because they're just killing me a lot. And I managed to find a booster jet, which makes my thing go really fast. So I'm off. To explore the great world of Terra Tech. I don't want to spell like This is the sort of game that you end up... Oh, no! I crashed. This is the sort of game that you end up getting, like, full-on 
before you know it, you've built like a sand crawler <laughs> out of these little pieces. So we're just going to go for a little drive. Woo! So yeah, this is a, one of those alpha games which everyone loves so much. Oh, oh. Uh, Terra Tech is Indie the name. Alpha. Indie Alpha. You know it. Oh! Wait, wait, what? Oh no, I just pulled it to pieces. That's not, that wasn't good. Huh? <laughs> back, back. Go! Booster Jets! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> this is actually really funny. Like, um, you boot, do the boost, and it just... Because I put the because I put the rocket up really high, it like makes it fall over. <laughs> so if I was to like wheelie and then hit the boost rocket, whoa! <laughs> oh man, lots of fun here. Oh no, enemies! And I haven't got any weapons. Get out of there! Oh, straight into a tree. Oh no! <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit derpy right now, but um, I'm sure it's got potential. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, because it's like... I think it's just the design I've ended up with is just not really very good. <laughs> you know? Oh, I haven't seen What's that What's your before. regen at? What's my regen? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Not very good. See, what's that big black thing? I need to know. It doesn't look like anything else I've seen yet. Oh, it's whoops. Death. Oil spring. I'm going to keep hitting Ooh. it. Just looks like a... I think I need the right tool for... Oh, no, wait. I've found it. I've got an oil block or something, I think. Oh yeah, spread it all over your ship, or your, your tank, I guess, whatever you want to call whatever it. Whatever it is. I'm not really sure why I've got that thing on the roof. <laughs> right, let's make this design a little bit more stable. No, that face to... <laughs> it keeps on putting it on in a stupid way. Right, get off. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, where are you going? Wait, what? Wait, where's, where's the truck going? I'm not controlling it. Um, hey, oi, <laughs> that's my car. Get back here. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, your AI went rogue. Yeah, my AI. It started, I was putting it together, and it started dry, trying to drive away. <laughs> I was like, hang on. I'm not done with that yet. <laughs> so it looks like the little ring thingy is... Oh my! Those are considerably larger than what I have. And I have no weapons right now. I could ninja salvage this stuff. Oh no! Dude, those things are massive. Nice. I've managed to make a dragster or something. Woo! Uh -huh. Rocket power! I want to get some air. There's got to be some jumps. If you've got a rocket booster pack on your car, you should be able to do jumps. Even if you're... Hey, it's an alpha. Make a suggestion. Yeah. Yeah, very true. Very if true. You should add a little bit more varied terrain and do jumps. Yep. Because <laughs> they would be cool. And you <laughs> could smash them. The guy look at you like, jump. What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, why, why would you want to do jump? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. And people will just why? derp around. 
Like, I'm just derping around this procedural generation right now. It's like, uh, it's, it's like asking him to put in FTL. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the jumps will never be balanced. And there's only four ways of doing it. <laughs> uh, it already has a gravity simulator, though. All he it to does. Do is put in hills. Yeah. There are, there are hills here, but they're not really steep enough. Like, you do pick up speed when you're going downhill, but then when you come up, it just isn't enough to get a flick. Ah. Uh. See, I've got, like, little front wheels and big back wheels and a really big long body. All I've got is, like, this thing that I think collects blocks, but I can't see a reason why Wait, I... Wait, so you're, you're in a trike? I'm in a quad. It's got... It's a rocket-powered quad, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of difficult because every now and then you'll see these NPCs and the NPCs are like massive and yellow and I'm small like, and gray. Don't hurt me. Yeah, please don't hurt me. Yeah. Oh wow. He's just driving into these crystal thingies and I think he's got drill bits. Does it have a crafting sim in it yet? I don't know. There's no buttons do anything except for the movement. So no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, no. I think you just literally drag and drop. I would imagine it's something put one in. I mean, it's cool having a, a scavenge thing, but mm. with all the destructible terrain and gathering resources, you'd think you'd be able to use it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to assume that I'm missing further something. down his to-do list. Yeah. I think I might just be missing something as well. Maybe. Yeah, it's very possible. Right, well, I think I'm going to leave this one here now because it's only a short preview that I'm doing on this. So that that's TerraTech. I'll be coming back to this to follow its development on a sporadic basis. So yeah, come back to Channel B and check that out. Until then, let's see what's next. <laughs>